the hole in your hand there. Oh, that's where I burned myself. How do you burn yourself? I'll take a cigarette and hold it down and get it. If some detectives came here tomorrow and showed you some crime scenes, would you confess to it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You learned your lesson, no. huh? Yeah. You obviously. Uh, what would you do if you got out of jail, Otis? Go right back to Jacksonville. And do what, Otis? Get me a job. You give up the torch, huh? I ain't gonna say I wouldn't burn down no more buildings, you know. Otis Toole is currently serving a life sentence for arson murder in Florida State Prison. At this time, he is not eligible for parole. Henry Lee Lucas, who refused to be interviewed, is in Texas State Prison in Huntsville under a death sentence. No execution date has been set. In 1977, Los Angeles again was to experience another series of brutal murders. This time, young women, some believed to be prostitutes, were murdered and their naked bodies discarded on hillsides near freeway on-ramps. This series of killings would now become known as the Hillside Strangler case. The killings went on for about a year and then suddenly stopped. A similar murder in Bellingham, Washington, almost a year later, led to the immediate arrest of a security guard by the name of Kenneth Bianchi. Bianchi, in turn, led authorities to his cousin, Angelo Bono, in Glendale, California. What was to follow was one of the most elaborate and ingenious hoaxes in criminal history. Bianchi, with an IQ of 120, was to convince several prominent psychiatrists that he was indeed a true multiple personality. He claimed that his alter ego, Steve, had committed these crimes. At this time, the prosecution called in Dr. Martin Orne, a leading authority on hypnosis from the University of Pennsylvania, to evaluate Bianchi. Dr. Orne, in his examination of Bianchi, concluded that the multiple personality defense was indeed a hoax. This caused Mr. Bianchi to abandon the multiple personality defense, and he was to plead guilty to seven murders. In Philadelphia, at the Institute of Pennsylvania Hospital, Dr. Martin Orne was interviewed by his associate, Dr. David Dinges, on his involvement in the Bianchi case. Dr. Orne comments on the only filmed interview that Ken Bianchi ever permitted. Well, in the case of Bianchi, uh, you had to decide whether or not he was a multiple personality, as he appeared to be, or whether he was a sexual psychopath, which also accounted for all of the evidence we had about him. And uh, one of the things about multiple personalities is that they have to exist before you examine the patient. They don't just come during the examination. And uh, one of the things that multiple personalities complain about is loss of memory. They don't recognize somebody. And uh, uh, they do things which they can't explain. They lose time. And no one had ever seen or heard of Mr. Bianchi having this kind of a response. He didn't do it. In this rare black and white footage, we see Kenneth Bianchi attempt to exhibit the multiple personalities.
guess what? Do I look like Ken? Well, no. Do you know who I am? Sure, I know you are. Okay. Uh, you're a little disturbed with me. So what? Okay. We just understand each other. Okay? I don't like you. Huh? I don't like you at all. Well, why don't you like me? It isn't Kansas. No, it's not. It's Steve. Oh, okay, Steve. <clears throat> Sometime after my arrest, there were allegations that I may have had a multiple personality. Uh, I was approached uh, by someone, and he said, we have a problem here. Mm -hmm. He said, it appears you might have a multiple personality. The person they got in uh, gave him the opportunity to to come out as a multiple personality, as it were. And he, he tried his very best to convince me also that he was a multiple personality. He was successful with several psychiatrists because he was so good at picking up what really uh, the psychiatrist thought he ought to be and uh, was very compelling. And of course now he says it, it never really happened. Uh, I wasn't a multiple and uh, somebody told me to do this. But when I saw him, he was doing his level best to convince me. But the one element that it seems to be missing is most multiples are abused as children. He says, can you think of anything in your childhood? Well, you have to, I don't even today understand, fully understand my state of mind just after my arrest, but you have to understand that I was in a different state of mind and I said, I remember one incident where my mother threatened to put my hand over a stove. I had started a fire or something, and she never turned on the stove. But that whole, that incident, even though it was not traumatic, has taken on a life of its own and grown in proportions, and that has been the seed for all the allegations that I was abused as a child, primarily. And I was not abused as a child, I really was not. What things would tend to make you angry? People being, believe it or not, people being cruel. People not being understanding would upset me. I can almost but not quite imagine that taking a human life has to be a horrendous thing. It can't be something that was done with conscience as we know it. You want to know which ones, see, I got your cake. Okay. You want to know which ones Angelo and I did away? If you want you to think tell I'm me not going to tell you, huh? I'm really going to tell me now. Huh? I don't know if you're going to tell me or not. It's my decision, isn't it? I guess it is. Right. You don't have to. You don't have to take credit for any of them. You don't want to. Hey, man, it doesn't bother me any. I, you know, I told you, killing abroad doesn't make any difference to me. Well, you want killing to any it. fucking buddy doesn't yeah, make well, any difference. Maybe you didn't kill any of those. I don't know. Oh, hey, no, wrong, man. Hey, I killed a couple of these. Well, which one? If you think you did, right? I killed her. Angelo killed her. They mean the Wagner when Angelo killed him. This broad I'd never seen before. Martin. This broad I'd never seen before. Hudspeth, you never saw them at all? No. Nope. Oh. This broad I'd never seen before. Robinson? Yes. This broad I killed. These yes, two Martin. Angelo killed. Hector. Johnson. This and one I'd never Sixth seen Hedges before. Where Angelo killed, huh? Now this one I'd never seen before. This broad I killed. He does say that the taking of human life must be a horrendous thing. You think he believes that now? If it were his, I'm sure. The things that make him angry are acts of cruelty. How do you see these statements in light of the crimes he committed? Well, the, uh, in the crimes, he committed terrible things. Torture uh, by s slow strangulation, uh, by gas by injecting with cleaning fluid, by trying to electrocute with the house current. I mean, just terrible things. And they should be horrible. And it's appropriate that we be horrified by taking human life. And that's the right thing for him to say at this point. At the time, 
however, it was a way he was getting sexual gratification. Did he take the first two or one or what? Did he take the first two or one? That was a funny thing. That was his idea. Yeah, I, I killed the first girl. You killed the first girl? You, who was she here? Do you know her? Yeah, that nigger. Oh? Yeah. Uh, 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 nice see. black witch. I see. Yeah. How did you happen to uh, decide on her? Well, I didn't see anything wrong with it. It was just there. <laughs> Where did you take her? What did you do with her? Oh, uh, me and Ed, so took her for a ride in the car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And decided just to do her in. Where did you do her in? In the car. Yeah. Then what did you do? 